Hi everyone, this is my first pickup for 2018 and I wouldn't have thought this is going to be my first pickup because it was a little bit under my radar. I knew it was going to release but not exactly when and this was a little bit more or less like a quick strike but um, it is something by Adidas and it's something without a boost and it's also something for the classic lovers because it is a re-release of the Adidas Questions and it comes here in the gray and pink colorway and we're going to have a close look at it. Adidas Questions had been first released in 1990 initially as a women's running shoe and now about 28 years later it had been re-released as a unisex model. End of 2017 had been released in the grey shark pink colorway that I'm holding right here and now at the very beginning of 2018 it had been released in a maroon colorway as well. I do like the maroon colorway but I do prefer this grey shark pink colorway a tad more. Um, also keeping the coming months in mind, it is going to be spring soon and then I do not really have use for a very fall-like colorway. The sizing starts at a US men's number 4 or US women's number 5 and even though it is not 100% close to its original and Adidas even openly admits that it is only inspired by the Crescents, it has still become a very nice shoe. The materials that have been used are actually not so bad and the suede here does have a very nice brush to it as I'm running my fingers over it but I have seen models that do have a much rough material being used. The insole is an ultralight insole and I have to admit it is very comfortable but I also have to admit that it does not give a lot of support for your foot. If you need more support you might want to exchange this as soon as possible. The midsole is a very simple EVA midsole, it does not consist out of several layers and does not give you additional support or cushioning and Adidas has probably been thinking this is just going to be a lifestyle shoe anyways and nobody's going to run through the woods with this anymore. Sizing wise I went with my Ultra Boost size, I tried both sizings, the older Adidas Originals one which is half size down and the more modern one and um, on the older sizing I noticed that my toes are definitely hitting against the end of the toe box so I took the bigger size and maybe it's different for you everybody's feet are different and uh, if you can try them on in a store if you cannot maybe order two sizes online and return the one that does not fit with the Questions, Adidas has definitely dropped a killer release. It looks really dope on the feed. It has some dope ass colorways and there are probably going to be even more colorways coming up. Possibly even some collabs. From my side, definitely both thumbs up. And if you like my channel, subscribe. I hope I'm going to see you next time again. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye bye.